So this is uh, just a quick video that I uh, uh, decided to make uh, this evening, boys, for the simple reason I encountered a little bit of a strange situation. I wouldn't call it an anomaly. Perhaps it's just my perception. Um, with the Hantex software. Uh, it involves the uh, trigger function and uh, the invert function um, when you're looking at a trace go across, going across the screen. Now, obviously, if you're using a current clamp, uh, depending on the orientation of the clamp, um, it will determine which way the trace is going to draw on screen for you. Sometimes you've got this in an awkward position and it's easier just to invert the trace on screen. And um, if you do that, you have to be aware that it could cause some um, confusion uh, when it actually comes to setting up a trigger on screen uh, if you invert the signal. The in if with an inverted signal, the trigger becomes a little bit um, strange to deal with. And that's what this video is actually all about. Okay, so we've got the hand tech actually set up here, boys. And I've actually got just my test light. And I was actually just using the test light here in order to model inrush current, right? Um, let me show you here the vertical mode. Let me get into vertical mode. I've actually got the signal inverted at the moment, just because of the way I've got my current clamp actually oriented on this on the bench setup here. If I don't invert it, it's going to go downward like that, and I don't like that. I just don't like looking at that display on the screen. So instead of turning my clamp around. I'm just going to go to the vertical channel, select invert, and of course, now on the display, I'm happy, right? I like that display much better. Now I can actually see the inrush current oriented the, the way I want to see it. But up here, I have the, the three trigger modes, auto, normal, and single. I want to use a single mode. So I'm going to put my trigger up a wee bit. So it's essentially a one-shot trigger mode now. The screen is set up for a one-shot trigger mode. Let me actually just do the same thing. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Nothing. Right? Let me try that again. Maybe I never made good contact. You can see the light is on. There is current going through the system and still nothing. Oh, well, my trigger is potentially off screen there. Let me get this set up here. My bad here, boys. Let me set that up properly. Nothing, right? And I puzzled over this. I thought, what the hell am I doing wrong here? I must be doing something wrong. So, and then I can't realize that I have the signal, I have the, the display actually inverted on screen. So I assumed when you invert the display of the signal, that the trigger would be toggled to the same mode. It is not, and watch what I mean. When I bring the trigger down here, I remember the signal was actually going downward. I've just inverted the uh, display. Now watch when I actually, and there's what I want, right? So you can see that the signal is still inverted. I mean, look where my trigger is, right? My trigger is not actually crossing the, uh, um, the horizontal trigger reference is correct, as you can see. I hope you can see it. There's no two washed out there, boys. There's the the actual uh, horizontal, the timeline trigger reference. But look where my, my vertical trigger reference is. It's nowhere near. Keep in mind that the display is inverted. So if you have the trigger up here, because you saw the signal was actually up here, you saw the trace was actually on the line up here. Let me try that again just to make the point, right? So you're all set up, you figure you're, you're good to go on your trigger, both on the, the uh, horizontal and the vertical plane. And when your current is, is there, it should be crossing your trigger reference points. There's no trace being drawn. What's the deal? As I said, don't forget, if you've got the signal inverted, Bring your trigger down and it will draw it. It will keep it on screen. It's a single shot capture. So you don't need to, uh, you know, hurry to the screen. You might be remote from the scope, obviously, when you're actually doing something at a particular test point or whatever. And uh, you may miss it. It may roll off the screen. 
right? So there, there are some serious limitations with the hand tech, the cheaper hand tech scopes, because there's effectively no memory buffer. So longer time bases and the use of the single shot trigger function is very, very useful in order to capture the screen. There's no zooming out or zooming in. There's no memory buffer, so you can step back and actually find this particular capture that you're looking for. So a use of longer time bases and a single shot trigger is very useful. So keep this peculiarity in mind when it comes to the single shot trigger. If you have the signal inverted, because it's difficult to flip your, uh, obviously this is not an issue. I, could, I can easily flip the clamp here. But if you struggle to get it in position, sometimes it's easier just to invert the signal on the screen. And then you wonder what the hell is happening with your capture with respect to your trigger on the vertical plane, on the uh, amplitude plane. Okay, so just before I close the video here, guys, I just want to be uh, uh, clear. Uh, I'll show you on the small screen here. I know it's a bit of a struggle to see what was actually doing on the big screen out in the garage. But keep in mind, I was trying to show you both the screen and what I was doing on the bench at the same time. So what I was referring to is in the uh, vertical mode. Um, you can see uh, in the vertical setup page, uh, pop-up window, there is the option to actually select invert. And if you have the invert uh, actually selected, this is where you can run in a uh, trouble uh, with interpreting the, um, the function of the, uh, the trigger setup on the, uh, the y-axis, the vertical plane. Now it's distinctly possible that uh, this is clear to everybody on the face of the planet with the exception of me, but um, I thought it was a wee bit strange and if I think it's strange, perhaps somebody else does. So that was the point of the video. So that's it boys. Cheers.